Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a P1 bomber. I ain't had such good luck this afternoon. First of all, I took my camera down there to Harbor Freight. Oh boy, about to have a cut cow. He said not no, but absolutely 100% no. I said, really, how come? And he said, they'd just be open to all kinds of lawsuits. I don't know, really know what he meant. But I talked to the manager. So, sorry, people. Could not do that one. So I thought, well, I won't make this a total loss. Dad lives right by Harbor Freight. So I just thought, well, I'll go over Dad to make a move. Went over Dad's. Was looking at his jet. Could have swore I hit the record button. But I got home. Guess what? No video. There was one. I guess when I turned my camera on, I thought I was turning it off. You know when we was done recording, and it showed me just. Uh, shutting the lens. I don't know. I ain't had very good luck today, people. But I couldn't believe they said no. You think it'd just be advertisement for them? <laughs> you know? I guess it'd have to be a spy mission if we was going to do it. But hey, you see, you see that all the time on them reality shows and stuff. Them people walk in stores with cameras. I don't know. So we're back to the bomber. I have to go with Dad's again tomorrow or something. He's got that SO-71 Prime. Looks pretty good. I'm getting his pencil marks worked down anyway. But I am putting the first layer of cloth on this edge. Remember, this is still real sticky. It's not sticking to my finger, but it's sticky. This cloth will really stick to it. I just work it in. That way I won't have no bubbles on that edge. I don't want no bubbles. I ain't got time to be fixing no molds. As long as we work this into that resin, it's still just a little bit soft. So Dad, if you're watching this, something happened with that video. So I'll go over there tomorrow and I'll make another one. And he's just going to let it dry today anyway. He put a coat of primer on it this morning. Or a while ago. And he's got that gas heater. So he's got to shut his heater completely off. So it won't 
blow everything up. And that means it's cold in the shop and nothing's drying. I did pick me up some brushes while I was at Arbor Freight. Yeah. I love that store. Too bad everybody ain't got them. But this will be my last coat of this white resin. And then I'll start laying the fiberglass and the clear on it. So, still got a few more hours before it's done. Let this set a couple hours. <laughs> 